Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to Vinyl Talk with Tavis. And I'm Tavis. It's, to me, a very sad day because I just found out that Mary Wilson of The Supremes passed away on February the 8th. And this is 2021, so just from my own diary's sake for my videos, um, really, really hard. And I'm going to, I wanna make this as genuine as possible and not get too emotional but you know, you just never know. Um, if you all have followed me for a long time, you know that Dinah Ross and the Supremes were very, very influential in my life as a young boy. It is that group that really steered me into music on the secular side for sure. And I remember when I was, um, well, first, um, The Cause of Death has not been released, and um, I don't know if she had been sick for a while. I don't know that. But um, when I was a boy, I had an auntie who had lots of records, and she was throwing away all types of stuff, and she gave me this. Now, she didn't give me this particular album right here that I have in my hand, but she did give me a copy and it was just the record itself. She didn't have the sleeve. And she was throwing away all kinds of records and I just had this little tiny child turntable. And when I put this on, and I heard someday we'll be together. That's when I knew that music was very important. <laughs> it's like something about it was emotional and beautiful and just would raise me from a level of just normalcy to like being completely free and I could just relax in the melodies and the rhythms and, but at the time I didn't know what was going on. It was like something was happening inside of me when I, when I would hear music. And this group, the Supremes, they, I fell madly in love with Dinah Ross and the Supremes. Madly in love. I had their pictures everywhere in my room. Um, I delved into finding more music of theirs. And then when I heard Baby Love, that was all she wrote. I would cry every time I listened to it. And I loved the feeling. I never had anything so emotional or that would cause me to be so emotional as their music. So this is their last album that they made with Diane Ross. And it was the first introduction to them or it was my first introduction of them with their last album. So, and you can see Mary there. And this is, of course, Cindy Bird's song. And she replaced Florence Ballard. And, um, yeah. Uh, just, it's amazing how, um, I've been hearing lots of people talking about this um, I think, um, I forgot who it was, but some of my vinyl friends and, um, people that I'm subscribed to, they mentioned how all the people that you loved as a child and you thought that they were just invincible and their talent is so phenomenal and then you you're beginning to see a lot of their passing. And that is surely the case now. A lot of the people that we have loved and emulated and fantasized over and had their pictures everywhere. It's like now they're 
in their 70s and, and 80s, and some, some of them in their 60s, and, and they're passing away. And you just never would think that that would happen, but that's just the way it is. So I'm just gonna show some of my, well, actually the, the records that I do own of um, the Supremes with Mary Wilson. And it, to me, the most influential girl group ever from the 60s. Their style, their sound, their influence. This is Love Child. You just can't find another group that was so um, important, really, especially in the black community, to see them with such elegance and style when they performed. And of course, they were taught to do that. This is a go-go with the great hit, You Can't Hurry Love. And uh, love is like an itching in my heart. I think this is the group that I have the most box sets. But this is my most recent purchase of the Supremes. They're number ones that I got at Target. And I do think that there is a, this is just one album, but I think there are, I think there's a two album set as well. But just look at that style. Just look and see Mary in the middle. And Diana Ross, she, um, I immediately went to her Twitter page and she has posted something and it's just a beautiful, beautiful post on, on how she will never forget those memories of her and Mary and the Supremes together. Their music and, and influence will live on forever. You know, this is a box set that I have of theirs. Well, not a box set, but it's a double set, double LP set. I'm very proud. I think I need to put all these in just one area because I was searching everywhere in this house to find all the records I had. It's like, how many, how many albums can you have? How many compilations can you have of a group with the same music on it? But you just, uh, you just have to, if you love a group, you'll do whatever it takes to find any record of theirs. I'm really proud of this one because I love the um, the picture. This is the 25th anniversary um, three record set. Really proud of that. Um, you just, uh, it's really hard to know that, you know, Diana Ross is the only living, well, Cindy Bird song, but the original I, I love you, Cindy, but the original Supreme left, you know. This is their I Hear a Symphony album. And Mary, I shouldn't say this. <laughs> I shouldn't say it. To me, and some other guys have spoken about it, she was probably, let's know, she was, to me, the most... Um, should I say this? She was the most beautiful girl in the Supremes. <laughs> Diana, I love you. Diana Ross, I love you so much. Diana Ross, she is the, she was my queen in my teenage years. But Mary was really, um, she stood out with regard to the beauty of her face. I mean, just, wow. So, something, uh, Wow, it's just hard to believe. So rest in peace and power. And Miss Mary Wilson, you have made such an impact as being a founding member of the Supremes, one of the most, if not the most influential girl group ever. And you encapsulated the Motown sound and, and gave it to us and, and showed us how class and elegance and blackness can come together. Never will forget you, Mary. And also, I remember reading her book that came out. It was like a tell-all book about Diana Ross and 
their fights and squabbles and things like that. And I, I don't know if it's true or not. I don't know about everything regarding the really hard relationship that they had, but I remember when the Supremes were supposed to do a tour. I think this was in 2000 and Mary refused to be a part of this tour because she didn't get enough money and Diana Ross went on Barbara Walters and, and did an interview about it. And I just wish that they would have made up. Um, I wish I would have seen Diana and Mary together in some venue and, and showed how, how much they appreciated each other and how much they, I'm sure they do or did, Mary, realize how wonderful and influential the, the group was. I, I think without a doubt they knew this. But to have seen them together in an interview and just to reminisce about old times and talk about it and show love for each other, that, that would have been just everything to me. So, But Diana Ross, she has reached out and she um, <clears throat> has this great Twitter post. And I'm just so, um, I really don't know what else to say. I guess I'm just going to be listening to the Supremes all day long and just thinking about Mary, and of course, thinking about Flo, and of course, the phenomenal Diana Ross, and just wanted to give my condolences to the Mary Wilson family, and just let everyone know how wonderful they were and continue to be a great part of my life, especially my youth. Man. So, um, I guess it's important, very important to give the flowers while you're living and every day is a gift. So as always, with music, absolutely be inspired and stay inspired. <laughs>